Hey guys and girls, it's Dina, and I'm back again today. I uh, just got my hands on something that I have been searching for for several weeks now, and I finally found it. Um, so I want to share it with you. It is the new Dreamweavers collection from Wet n Wild, and if you stay tuned at the end, I will talk about the giveaway because I have um, some of the palettes from the collection that I'm going to be giving away. So I'm just going to go ahead and jump right into it because there are a lot of colors. I will run out of time in my time limit, so... Um, We'll just go over these real quick. Um, the first one in the collection is called We're Blasting Off. And it has a light pink, a dark brown with um, red, like burgundy shimmers, and then a shimmery kind of taupe champagne color. So um, this is the swatch here on the top. And as you can see, it's like a baby pink. And then there is the brown with the sparkles. Um, that one reminds me of Beauty Marked a lot from MAC, except it's much more pigmented. Shows up better. And then there's the third one there, the champagne colored. So um, that's the first set. The second one is probably my favorite, and it is called Dancing in the Clouds. And it has a um, golden um, shimmery kind of taupe color at the top for the brow bone. The crease color is a very deceiving color. Um, it's picking up quite blue on my camera, but it is a, um, it looks very, um, I would say like a mid-toned purple, and um, the bottom one is a uh, gold shimmery color, uh, and I will show you the swatch here. It's the second one right here. As you can see, there's the champagne color, and then look at the color in the center. It is a duochrome purple blue, and I had to swatch that one. That's probably about four good heavy swatches there on that center color. So it is not very pigmented. It is the only color out of the entire collection that was not nearly as pigmented as I thought it would be. So there's the first color again. The shimmery um, kind of um, champagne. And then the one on the um, right is more of like a penny copper golden goodness. That's all I can say about it. The top two are probably my favorite out of the um, group, um, but I did purchase all of them just because I am a collector of makeup. <laughs> so um, the next palette here is called um, Earth Looks Small from down here. So they kept the names really short, as you can see. <laughs> um, so the top one is uh, appears to be like a greenish gold color. It's a shimmer. Me, uh, the middle color is a bluish, well, it's a dark blue. Um, that about right there is true to color. And then the third one is a green. So I will show you the swatches right here. And as you can see, that gold is gorgeous, that goldish green here. It's this swatch right here. Um, this one is really pretty. Um, the middle color is a shimmery blue, and then the bottom is a shimmery lighter green. So um, those are definitely colors that um, are workable, and I love them. All right, we're going to go ahead and move on to the next palette here. And this one is called Bright Idea. And it is a um, golden yellow with shimmer on the top. The middle color is a green shimmery. It's kind of a light green, looks like with gold and uh, silver sparkle. And then the bottom color is a um, kind of a dark pink with a little bit of cranberry tone to it. Um, that's probably a little bit better there, as you can see. Uh, here's your swatches. So as you can see, that um, golden yellow color is really pretty. I uh, love, love that color. That one is definitely one I'll be wearing. The middle colors you can see, the green with the sparkles, and then the far color here. This is the um, pink, and that's probably two swatches of the pink. It was not as pigmented as the first two. That was literally like I touched it and swiped it um, on my hand. So those are those three there. The next one is a um, trio called Enter a New Realm, and this one has a very shimmery, metallic silver on the top, a matte black in the crease color in the center, and then a red shimmer on the bottom. So I believe I have seen other um, people saying that this um, trio here was in the 
um, limited edition holiday night elf palette, the um, red and the silver. I think the black actually had the shimmers in it, which when we get to this next one, um, if you took the middle color out of this last palette and stuck it in this one here, you would have that limited edition um, night elf on, on, I think it was the right side of the palette. So anyway, here are the swatches for that. As you can see, the top one, that gorgeous metallic silver. The middle one looks like it has sparkles in it, but it really doesn't, guys. It's actually um, something that I tried out, and I tried to scrub it off, and it's not coming off of my arm. <laughs> it's something else that I purchased tonight that is gorgeous, and I will share that with you in another video. But this is just a matte black in the center. And the third one is a, um, kind of comes off like a brick color to me. Um, it's not like red, red as it's showing um, up here. I mean, it, it is red, don't get me wrong, but it's it's more of like a brick-colored red to me. All right, and then the last one here is called Fly Me to the Moon, and it is a shimmery, silvery white, a sparkly black, and then a beautiful, shimmery, metallic-y blue. So I will go ahead and show you these swatches as well. And here we go. So there is your white, shimmery. Your, your sparkly black, and as if you can see here when I turn the light, you can see the different colored shimmers in that one. So that one's gorgeous. And then look at that blue. That blue is amazing. So overall, the pigmentation on these is great as usual. Um, couldn't expect more from Wet n Wild. Um, for the quality, the price, you cannot beat. They are $2.99 each. And I have literally went to about 15 different stores on numerous occasions uh, looking for this set. And I walked in there today, and if you would have been there with me, you probably would have laughed. Because when I saw them, I literally gasped. I was like, oh my gosh, there they are. So I grabbed every single one of them that they had in the display. They only have two of each color. Now comes to the good news. These are mine. Obviously, I have touched them and swatched them, but... I am going to do a giveaway because I know there are so many other people who are wanting to get a hold of these. So I was able to obtain four out of the six um, for the giveaway. So I have the Earth is Small from down here. I have Dancing in the Clouds, which is probably my favorite out of the bunch. I have Bright Idea, which this color is amazing. And I have the Fly Me to the Moon. So all four of these palettes will be given away to one person, one winner. Um, this one, since I have another contest going on right now, I'm going to make this one when I reach 500 subscribers. And I will put a clause in here that if I am able to obtain the other two from the um, collection, I will add those to it as well. So I will add the We Are Blasting Off and the Enter a New Realm. So if I'm able to obtain these um, from another store, I will add them in and they will go with the giveaway. So um, it'll probably be another couple months before I could obtain that. I'm getting close to 200 subscribers and that's when my next contest ends. So tell your friends, all you gotta do is subscribe. It's open to everyone. Just make sure if you're over 18 that you have a parent's permission. Um, there are no stipulations, just that you're a subscriber and just leave me a comment, that's it. Just say, hey, I'd like to win these. It's not a contest, it's a giveaway. So that's it, guys. So again, here they are. Good luck, and I hope you win. Um, thank you to my current subscribers. Um, I really appreciate all the feedback that I've been getting. And um, to anyone who is watching this, um, if you would, I would love to have you as a subscriber, uh, doing a lot more reviews here in the future. Um, I've got the MAC BB Cream that I will be reviewing probably tomorrow or the next day, so I will add that on as well. Um, I know that there's a lot of people interested in that, so um, I will see you next time, and I hope everybody's having a great day. Bye.